Astro. No. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay, what you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Astro. Nomical, she kinda basic One of my numbers, send her back to the matrix Red pill, blue pill, what am I taking? L-A-X on the beat, we stretching The P-O-D, let me loose my neck I'm a G-O-D, better know I'm the best No D-O-G, gonna teach me I'm a vet See, I'm the one like Neo, deep in the field Pull a slime Alright guys, I'm gonna do a walkthrough video This is a 2023 Ranger Z520R The 55th anniversary edition Um... I'm doing the video, I mean, when I was out there looking at these boats, there are some walkthrough videos, but a lot of it's like the pros doing a walkthrough and kind of more just trying to sell the boat. I'm trying to do the walkthrough uh, from the consumer's point of view and what I was looking for in videos that I didn't find. So I'm going to first start with a, a slow walkthrough on the outside of the boat, showing everything really uh, in detail. And as I'm doing it, I'll talk to you about why I left uh, or jumped out of the Express. Um, so I was in a 2021 Express X19 Pro. Um, and I love that boat. The boat was super fast. It fished well. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it is, you know, seven out of ten trips, the boat did everything that you wanted it to do. Um, but those three trips, it would beat you to death in rough water. Um, beat your fish to death, unfortunately. Literally sometimes to death and cause you penalties and um tournaments and whatnot so i found myself fishing more fish Kerr lake or bugs island the majority of the time um and i find myself fishing more down the towards the dam more than i do in the back of creeks um so down that way if the wind gets up um it can be some you know two to so i've seen four footers out there when it gets really really gnarly but those wake boats kick it up and it just made fishing unpleasant um so i wanted to jump out into a a glass boat and I was looking around and going between a Phoenix and a Ranger I've only had the boat I, I just did a 20 hour service on the boat so I haven't had it long uh, so far I like it the rides incredible the fishing platforms incredible um, but we'll see if I have any issues I know there's been some issues with the boat and with the ride system um, I've had a couple little quirks with the ride system my um, hydraulic trim sometimes would go off but I adjusted the sensor and hopefully that fixed it um, but when the ride system is working it's really cool really cool feature um, but we'll have to see how that holds up went with 8 foot power pole blades Mercury 250XS got a Atlas 10 inch hydraulic jack plate Got the ladder built into it. Got the remote drain plug here. Turn that. Just one plug in, starts charging all your batteries up. All your power pole pumps under that, so they're not taking up space in the back locker. I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, it, the boat came with a 23 pitch Mercury Fury prop. Um, I was having such a bad hole shot, I switched to a four shot or a four blade rather, um, and it helped a little bit. But the hole shot was still not what I thought it should be. And I actually just did a, like I mentioned a second, I did a 20 hour service on it yesterday, and the mechanic found as soon as he took the cowling off, um, one of the spark plug wires was loose, so I wasn't getting all cylinders at takeoff but once it got up to speed it would hold its spark um so he uh tightened that up and then ch checked to make sure that the throttle was good uh, getting 100 percent and it was like a driving a different boat in terms of hole shot yesterday these seats are really really nice i mean i can't tell you how comfortable they are riding in it
They came with these steps, which they're really convenient. We'll go up in it and do a walkthrough on the inside. Start up front, so I went with the Minn Kota Altrex. Uh, it's a 115 pound thrust, I believe. Um, got a Lorance Live 12, and then I'm running a Garmin uh, 122 SV. You got some cool trim stomp switches and accessory switch if you want to add there. It um, tell you what your live well is doing, and then your nav lights. Got the power pole stomp switches there. Go through the lockers. So that's your rod locker. Lights automatically come on. It may be hard to see because I'm outside at the moment. But you have two levels. I've got eight foot rods in there. They fit just fine. I've got probably 15 or more that I just took off the deck of the boat. So it holds quite a few rods. It's a center rod locker. Just an incredible amount of storage. I went with the Ant Marine tackle organizer that you can buy from them. It was really reasonably priced. Um, and it works out well. I even got bags in the back back there. Holds rods as well if you want to put rods in here. Give you another view of the die holder and everything that it has. This is like a day box, so I've got my live scope black box in there, some live baits, some other storage. Another just massive compartment. I got all kind of plastics and stuff in there. And you can put more rods in there, so it's more shelving back in there. If you want to store more rods on this side, or you just prefer to use this side. And you can't see it because I got all that stuff in there, but it's got like a C deck type material in the bottom. Tool holders. Built-in ruler. This is the ice chest. I've loved this. It'll hold three big bags of ice. And usually when I fill it up, even in the summertime, I'll come here the next day for if I get to drain it, it'll still be cold. The ice will still be in there. Not all it melted. You got this foot holder deal here. I kind of just throw my dock rope and my bubba scale down in there. Some people use it for a um, trash holder. The only thing that I have had happen is I've tried, this thing keeps coming undone. I've super glued it and it just keeps not staying. I got to figure out a better way to make that hold. This is the passenger side. I just got some bait sprays. They can, they've got a rod holder there, a cup holder, and a little storage area. That's kind of the 55th anniversary badge in there. And there, and I think it came with these two graphs here. That was part of the package, those steps up front that I talked about. center locker fairly decent amount of storage it's got a wireless phone charger there the seats are adjustable they slide up um, 
when I went to look at the boat, the railings on the seat were very, very loose. So you always want to check that. They were able to tighten up for me. I bought the boat from <coughs> Angler's Choice in Martinsville, Virginia. But that's the console area. So running two 12 inch Lowrance lives. the ride system monitor there get this area I couldn't find anybody that got good video of this area so I put my wireless power pole control there that's your standard live well switches you do have some Cigarette lighter at 12 volt outage there, and then a USB there. You guys can see that all. Looking at live well. So it comes with an oxygenator came with this already on there I put my uh, coal tags in there I usually keep that drain plug or keep that plug it's got lights in it and I run these noodles these pool noodles, these black pool noodles because the bass kind of keeps them from jumping out as much feels like it keeps them calmer they something they're gonna relate to in there and if I hit rough water Sorry about that, the camera got too hot and shut off on me. So anyways, I'm showing you guys a live well. It's got this really nice rod holder. I mean, it this sits behind the seat. Believe it or not, this is like one of my favorite features because you're always trying to figure out where to put it to get it out of your way. And my old buddy used to strap it down behind the driver's seat. But the storage in here is just massive. Really deep too. Lights automatically come on when you open them. The other one's the same way. I'm not going to open that. And then in the back, it comes with a spare prop holder. I'm running two 36 volt batteries parallel so that I never have to worry about power. The charger in there for those. Then I run a X2 AGM cranking battery. And then a dedicated 125 volt ionic better for all my electronics so you see there's a c clear harness i actually run two of those so i've got these two graphs on their own dedicated c clear harness and then those two graphs my black box on their own c clear harness that way they don't have to share the load over all that wiring i got i feel like i got really good image quality but maybe overkill but i really like that product i'm not sponsored by any of this stuff on my boat i just go with what i like but i can't recommend that enough and there's another ionic charger in there it comes with this line holder too and you got an anchor light i went ahead and added a anchor light to the power pole i forgot what product that is uh Oh, Bass Boat Technologies. And that's who I got all my graph mounts with, too, was Bass Boat Technologies. Shut that up. Let you look from this angle. But that's it. Like I said, I've got right at 20 hours on the boat I lost a little bit of speed coming out of that express that express was a rocket ship um, I think the top end I ever got was like 76 77 and it had some more in it um, this one I'm getting I haven't really tweaked and played with the jack plate settings all that I got 68 out of it with a full tank of gas by myself I think I can get it to 70, maybe 71 in the right conditions, but I usually cruise around 55. I hardly go over 60 anymore. For me, it's all about the comfortability of the ride versus going fast. 
I had a fast boat to beat the hell out of them, and I'll trade a slower boat that is more comfortable to drive any day. But if you are looking for Express, man, please hit up Andy Sell. Um, those guys up in PA, uh, FNS Yamaha. I can't say enough about them. Their customer service did not stop after that sale. They helped me with a bunch of stuff. I had some axle issues. They took care of me. Trying to get some props straightened out before a tournament. They put their mechanics on the phone. Uh, walked me through a bunch of stuff. So I wish they sold Rangers because I definitely would have gone to them for it. Just can't say enough about those guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to get up under the boat and show you that real good too. All right, guys, so one of the things when I was looking for online reviews of this boat, I didn't see any really detailed walkthroughs of the, the ride system. Um, so I wanted to make sure I got that in today's video. <coughs> um, anybody that's got one of these boats knows that people have a lot of issues, especially the early versions of the ride system. The, there were a lot of software glitches and software updates. The only weird thing I've had happen so far is my jack plate setting. Sometimes I'll set it in the morning and it'll show 45 on the ride system and it would bounce between 20, 30, and 45. Um, I tightened the bolts up on the sensor back on the jack plate and I actually fished yesterday and it didn't happen yesterday. So um, but these are all the settings. It kind of shows your gas gauge, how many gallons you have, uh, RPMs, mile an hour, water pressure, it shows your live well temp. Uh, the water temp you can operate your power poles here it's got first fish mode so as soon as you catch your first fish um, you can hit that and it'll start filling up the live wells you've got night mode i'll show you what that looks like come back out of it so you can click on details here gives you a different view you got all your light switches Put my anchor lights off. Got other controls here. So you got your live well, your oxygenator, your internal fans, your bilge pumps, and then some more accessories if you want to add. I didn't have the uh, sound system put in, so I don't have anything connected there. If you have any alerts, it'll show them here. Go here and do other settings. And then your display, you can kind of adjust that if you want. So back to your home, again, you got your batteries here. Because I have a 36 volt uh, battery uh, system and I'm running one 36 volt battery versus three 12s, it does not show my um, trolling motor batteries, but it does show my cranking battery. So while it works, it's pretty cool I really like it but the, the one thing that does concern me is you know if something does happen you do have these other three switches down here that can operate your build your nav lights and your live well I believe uh, if something does go wrong um, but again I'm only 18 20 hours on this boat at this point um, I haven't had anything other than the the jack plate issue the day I picked the boat up the power poles so if you click on power pole those are all your options that you can do. The day I picked it up, some of the power pole uh, settings weren't working, or the buttons weren't working, rather. Um, but have since kind of corrected itself. So, again, people say this thing has a mind of its own. I believe it. If you do buy a, one of these boats, I would recommend doing the software update before you pick it up if your dealer hadn't already done that for you. <laughs> 